Hey guys, it's Terry Parsons. If you've been watching my weekly vlog, you would know that a few months ago I killed a family of four. My accomplice, Dick Hickok. I'm currently being held in the Finney County Jail, awaiting the trial. But bad news guys, my crime is likely to be punishable by execution. Maybe my story will change the minds though. Our psychiatrist suggested we write an autobiography, so I thought I would do what all the cool kids are doing and make a Draw My Life video. So here we go. Draw My Life, Perry O. Parsons. On October 27, 1928, I was born Perry Edward Smith in Huntington, Elko County, Nevada. A year later, my family moved to Juneau, Alaska. In my family were my brother Tex Jr., who later changed his name to James because he hated our dad, my sister Fern, who changed her name to Joy, and my sister Barbara. And of course, my parents, Tex Smith and Flo Buckskin. While we were in Juneau, my father started making bootleg alcohol, and my mother started drinking. This is when they began fighting. My mom started entertaining sailors. And when my dad found out, he beat her. All of us kids were scared that he was going to come after us, too. Before I knew it, we were living in Fort Bragg, California. One year, my brother got a BB gun, but he said I was too young to use it and he wouldn't share with me. I got so angry, I grabbed it from him and pointed it right at his face and yelled, BAM! My parents beat me for that, though. We used to shoot at our neighbor's horse. After we got caught, we got beat for doing that, too. Years later, our house servant, a Negro, started sleeping with our mother. After that, my parents split up, and our mother took us to San Francisco. While there, I joined a gang. I was the youngest, and started to get in even more trouble. My mother was drinking more than ever, too, and she couldn't take care of us at all. There was no one to show me right from wrong, and teach me any morality. I was in and out of detention homes, for running away from stealing, mostly. There was one place where I wet the bed every night on account of my weak kidneys. The cottage mistress beat me and embarrassed me in front of all the other boys. She would keep checking at all hours of the night, then would beat me with a big black belt and throw me in an ice-cold tub of water. Later, she started putting some burning ointment on my penis, and that was unbearable. Eventually, she was discharged. However, this never changed my mind about wishing to do terrible things to her and all the people who made fun of me. As a teenager, I lived with my father. We wandered all over and did whatever work we could find. I loved him, but I couldn't stand when he didn't even try to understand my problems or give me any authority. I joined the Merchant Marine at 16, and at 20, I joined the Army. Taking the test made me realize the importance of education. This just made me more bitter, though, having only reached the third grade. While serving in Japan and Korea, I started getting into a lot of trouble, and I was even court-martialed. After four years of serving, I was sent back to Alaska. They did a whole write-up about me in the paper. I was the first Korean vet to return to the Alaskan territory. Years later, I got into a motorcycle accident, which crippled my legs. They still caused me a lot of issues. While recovering, I fell in love with this nurse named Cookie. She was beautiful. We were meant to get married, but I couldn't go through with it. Even longer after that, I went to prison for the first time for grand larceny, burglary, and jailbreak. Five to ten years they gave me. I felt the whole thing was unfair, and it made me even more bitter than I already was. I was supposed to meet my father in Alaska after my release, but I worked in Nevada and Idaho instead. I went to Las Vegas, and then Kansas, and now here I am, in a jail cell. I still have so much to offer the world, it would be a pity to execute me. So, that was it. Draw my life. If you want to know anything more about me, leave a question in the comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should. Perry O. Parsons, signing out. Maybe for the last time.